And in my other fantastic playthroughs that I play at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday night, uh, we're playing Kuna now. <laughs> I don't know what this game is, but it's one of those games that are, that's leaving. So I figured, why not? Let me take a shot at it. Um, I do have other projects that I'm doing in the channel, but I figure why not throw more into it since God knows I ain't doing shit on a Saturday night. Let's continue. Okay, we're playing Kuna. I have no idea what Kuna is. Um, kind of scary because the last game I played I had no idea what it was and it completely destroyed my eyes to the point where I couldn't see nothing but 8-bit. So I went to get a pizza. It was an 8-bit pizza. I went to get food. I went to get drinks and groceries. Everything was 8-bit. So hopefully Kuna can recover me since it looks like there's some decent graphics here. Uh, let's go to options. Graphics. Uh, we're going to do Gamma. Uh, field of View. I, I, I did not know we were in a computer. This is an Xbox One game. I am not playing in a computer. Audio. Subtitles? Yeah, buddy. Subtitles enabled. That's the way I like it. Uh, that's it? <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah, let's do Kuna. Uh, okay, Kuna. Kuna with chains. Kuna with chains. Yeah, fucking Joey Wheeler over here. Uh, what is this game? I have no idea. I do not know what this game is. Hopefully it's a good game. Hopefully it's a game that can actually stick with to and keep it in the channel as a series. Because that's what I've been trying to find out. Other than that, I did strike gold with uh, some games, as you can see. If, if a game passes, like, five parts in my channel, that means I struck gold with it and I like it and, you know, it's a good series to run by. But <laughs> I just played this other game, I swear. It just destroyed my eyes. It was a piece of shit and I swear to God, Ganondorf would just be in the crap out of me. I do not want to play that game anymore. Ooh, what we got here? Ooh, Northern Quebec, October 1970. Ooh, that's a good year. Oh, yes, story! That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. <coughs> yeah. Hamilton, a rich industrial... Shouldn't be smoking, but damn it. Been ...regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a... <laughs> My character's smoking, though. Right, you, you do the puff puff for me, please. Yeah, just throw it out there. But that's how it had always been. The client pays... Carl gets it done. Okay, something about Korea came back from a war or something. I'm in a Jeep. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right. Oh, and we're driving. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, what a beautiful. All right, we're going to meet thirty miles. His client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Wait, how fast can this car go? Can we go to a hundred miles? Let's let's try it out. Actually, no, there's a roadblock. God damn it! Bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Yeah, that's what most Americans do because they feel they're above the law. <sighs> we're in a generation where people don't even follow the law anymore. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. All right, we're in a Chev Chevrolet. Not a Chevrolet, but a Chevrolet. Okay, very original game. Very original. Uh, we're at Lac. Are we in Germany? Carl was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. Okay. It looks like we're in Germany. Uh, ooh, a rock. Wait, so most people just stop in the side of the road, go inside random cabins, and yep, that's what we do. And we look at bulletin boards and pick up the phone and call Carl. Hey, Carl, can you hear me now? Good. Uh, Manistan, it will be good. Yeah, this is... Uh, what, what language is that? Uh, Lily Fur Bon Vivre? Yeah, my illiterate ass can... No. Right, I'm stupid, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Kona, what are you doing? So, could we just open the sign? Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. 
Okay, I got an empty bottle, but it looks like I need clippers to destroy the chains there, right? Like the, the, those clipper thingies. Forgot. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that, that looked like a Lucha Libra mask. I'm sorry, but if I see this in the side of the road, I am booking it. Carl, meet up next Tuesday at a public area. Not this. What the hell? Where are we? I will not meet him there. No fucking way. This is insane. Ah, there we go. This is the pincer. Okay, I guess that's what they're called. But there's a, there's a name for it. Looks like we got fire starters too. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what game are we playing here. I do not know. I guess this is like a storytelling game, which is perfect by me, but I'm just trying to figure out the logic here of meeting Carl in the middle of nowhere. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. I guess it I'm Hamilton. For him to get down to business. Yeah, it uh, seems I'm, I'm Hamilton. Yeah, just open up the gate. That's meant to be locked. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, game. Like, you're, you're acting like fucking early 2000 movies where, like, people fall down after being chased down. Like, that doesn't make no logical sense. Can we, can we at least put 103.5 in the radio? Built in the very heart of Guess the not. not this better not be a scary game because it's like really late at night, and the last thing I want to do is get scared. Huh. Had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the three people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was about to happen. We lost signal with the radio. I noticed that too. So this looks like it is a scary game. Don't know how I feel about that. God damn it. A few hours later. Great, it's nighttime. 20 bucks is nighttime. 20 bucks is nighttime. time. Oh, yeah. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Okay. Kona. Oh, you great. What does Kona mean? Not know. It means probably like fucked in Germany. Okay. Um. I saw a health meter, and I saw a brain thing. If this is a scary game, I am not playing this this late at night. I cannot play this this late at night. I'm gonna get shit faced. All right. Well. Wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Yeah, okay, my question is, okay, let's actually, yeah, there we go, that, that was my question. Let's check out the car that fucking hit us. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Can we open this door fully? Yes, okay. Um, what do we got here? What is this? It was a small locked box engraved with the letters W. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. I... <sighs> Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. Dude... I didn't care much about flowery language. This better not be a scary game. Isabel, you gave me to everything when you disappear, so the purity, I would defend purity. Against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Oh, that's great. <sighs> that's great. 
so the driver left off. When under stress, car is less accurate and runs shorter distance. I'm stressed. Game. First aid kit, sir. Heal, call of wound. Okay, so I'm Carl, not Hamilton. I'm Carl. But I'm stressed this right now. The country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Yeah, okay, so I, I Carl's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Okay, that, that makes sense. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him. In which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Okay, yeah, I'm like dying, so I need to like uh inventory. Uh no consumable. Okay, that worked. First aid, yep. Okay, good. Wait, but can I get a Equipment, I got nothing here. Okay, th this feels... Okay, so my brain stress is, I guess, better now, because I healed, but it it's looking to be like a scary game. No. Please, no. Cold turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. I understand, but where is warm? Where, where are we going? Crap. Yeah, I can't believe it. in a couple of hours this area snowed. I mean, but that's realistic though. That, that I, I do see that happening. Okay, so I guess we'll follow the trail here. Oh crap, and my eyes are getting blurry, right? That means I'm tired. Oh, is this where we were before? No. But this looks like heat sources prevent Carl from freezing to death and save the game. Is there a heat source here? Let's just close the door. Oh, nice. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Fober had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. So it looks like I'm missing something to start the fire. Uh, but we are inside, so that's a good thing, I guess, that we're in a shelter. But what am I missing? I'm missing, uh, I have the fire, the matches, and something else. I don't know what that is, but okay. I got a map here. Oh, I got a flashlight. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, it looks like I can't start a fire yet. Which is weird because I'm gonna die right now. Okay. Okay, the game is a little buggy. But yeah. The flames won't grow without some help. Other materials were required. Yeah, and I'm trying to find them, but I can't. Fuck. Uh, looks like I'm gonna die. The snow death right here. <laughs> and I'm at like, the, and I'm at the highest point, which is not something you should. Oh wow, that scared me. That scared me, that noise scared me. Uh, low checkpoint. Wow, that death thing scared me, Jesus. Uh, wow, we have a lot of, I guess the most recent, the rest stop, yeah. <laughs> that death thing really scared me, only because I'm tense too, man. What, what, fuck Carl, what about me? What about my needs? Like, I'm, I'm scared right now that this is a scary game. Feels like a scary game at least, fuck. All right. Looks like we're back here. And th is the gate open? No, the gate's not open. So this is where. We oh, I could sprint too. That's right. No, I don't have the thing, right? Oh, I do have Hamilton the thing. Is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right. So we. Oh, I could pick up this rock. To clear his conscience, a ten-dollar bill. Carl was an honest man. Oh, I got an achievement. In typical Canadian fashion, Carl left ten dollars for the. Oh, we're in Canada. <gasps> so that's French. Oh, we're in Canada. So that's um, this is omelette du fromage. 
Yeah. It will be good. That's the meaning of that thing. Oh, wow. My illiterate ass just learned something today. Okay, so we're in Canada. That's good to know. And we left money there. So we got a, a rare achievement to what looked like. Jesus. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I guess that death was worth it. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging English who would do anything. Oh my god, I'm like hitting the sides here. <laughs> and those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. I'm trying to step out, see what happens if I go, because I know what's going to happen over there, but I can't. Now Looks like. Wasn't a good time to wander about. Hamilton still out there okay looks like it's not letting me so let's see if I can go yeah turn that off I'll go nice and slow and see what happens maybe I can dodge the car look we see no car and we're going nice and slow nice and slow Okay, that's the bridge right there. Yep, right there. Oh, and then, oh great, I'm speeding up. I'm speeding up, yep. Okay, so it's planned. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to be shady with it. So it looks like my time is limited too. I gotta, I gotta be careful with that. I gotta be quick and just get what I need and run. A few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Oh, he has that ringing thing too. I hate when that, that ringing, as soon as like a concussion is coming. Ugh. It's the worst feeling in the world. I hate that shit. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in Kona. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm kind of hooked now. I want to see what happens in this game. So, okay. Looks like I get one shitty one and then a good one. And this is the good one. Uh, let's check to see if we have anything here that we can grab. Oh, withdraw. Fire starter. Ah, so that's where it is. Lay chains. Oh, but I, I can't do that. Looks like I can upgrade my car. That's pretty cool. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Yeah, we got the Isabel photo. Okay, yep, yep, yep. And that's about it, right? Okay, great. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. Depended on it. So I think now we can start the fire now. So that's a good thing. I think if I go inside here, we'll have everything. Because I think the the last piece we needed was behind the uh, our truck, which the game didn't tell us that. But luckily we found we found it. So wait, is that it? Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. No. I cannot do that. Okay, but it looks like I got chains. Is that for my car? Okay, that area is blocked off. There's nothing up there on the roof, and I died on the roof. So let's head back to the car. I think I could do something with the chains. Oh, 
Awesome. Yes, I think I got I get some grip and I can pull out of this slump. So let, let's see. Oh. Okay, so let's heal. Let's go to consumables. First aid kit. Nice. He needs to heal his wounds. I just healed my wounds, dude. What more do you need? Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. Okay, we just had a cigarette. And now we... Okay, so I need to warm up. So... Always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Okay, um, I can't go back down there. Yep. So I have to go to that side road, but there's nothing there. What am I missing? The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Oh my god, don't tell me I need a log. Don't tell me that was the only thing I needed to start the fire. And that's what that was. Yep. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, I got log. Oh, I gotta... Okay, I gotta warm up here. Alright, very nice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> wow, this game is interesting, though. Let's see what happens next. Jesus.